Okay, so we're now going to look at the theory of evolution by natural selection, as proposed by Charles Darwin in the 19th century, when he was in particular looking at finches in the Galapagos Islands. But I want to look at this in terms of another example, the peppered moth. So you can see from this picture, peppered moths, some are dark, and in the case of this dark moth, it's really well camouflaged, it's got an advantageous adaptation. And this light coloured one uh, doesn't have a good adaptation and it's easily visible to predators, to birds. So Darwin theory goes a little bit like this. There is variation in the population. Some are dark, some are light. Um, you've got an environmental selection pressure, the birds that want to eat them. And then some of them have an advantageous adaptation. They're dark. Other ones, in this circumstance, the light ones, do not have such an adaptation, and they're more likely to get eaten. So what happens over time is that we're going to see changes in population numbers. We're going to see more dark moths and fewer light moths over time, as dark moths reproduce, they produce dark offspring, and light moths reproduce, they produce light offspring. So we're going to see the numbers of dark moths increase against this dark background, and the population of light moths will decrease. And that's a summary of evolution by natural selection, and I now want you to do the remaining activities. Away you go.